Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is truly incredible. We're gonna start the day off with a little quick unboxing from my friend Miguel over at Always Evolving Python. Sent me a little bit of a gift. We also are gonna feed Lucy and Butterscotch later, so we have a pretty fun day ahead of you. But let's just go ahead and open this up. Now, he told me what was in here, but you know with Miguel, you never know if he's gonna send something else. So let's just go ahead and see what's going on. And, uh, and again, this was just an animal that he had for quite a while, and he said that he was just ready to kind of get away from the care of this particular animal. Let's see, yep, and it looks like just one animal and I do know what it is. These guys are super cool. I mean, I actually have one here at the Reptarium, so this one will go in with it and it'll do really, really well. And uh, they're just so crazy. So let's go ahead and look at this one, see what it looks like. Ooh, it's a pretty little baby too. Well, I guess it's not really a baby, but it is absolutely adorable. And of course that is a little Mata Mata turtle. That's right. You know we have the Mata Matas over there. This is uh, going to be just a new addition to it. And what's interesting is a lot of them are very different. Some are more red, some are more tans. This is a very tan one. And this one's about maybe three quarters the size of our other ones. But it looks absolutely incredible. Look at that adorable face right there. I mean, it is so cool. They always have that kind of smile. And of course, these guys are from the Amazon down in South America. So in the river, they're going to look like leaves and just kind of blend right in. And that little tip of the nose right there is it's almost like a snorkel. It'll poke its head up and just that tiny little bit will breach the surface. It'll take a breath and then it goes back in. And then one of the things that makes these guys so amazing from a feeding standpoint is it's almost like a little vacuum. They'll like creep up again as an ambush hunter on a fish and then they just go and they suck in and the fish just goes in their mouth and then all the water goes out. It's pretty amazing to see these guys eat for sure. So uh, thank you Miguel. This is awesome. A little donation to the Reptile Zoo to add to my Mata Mata collection. So that's pretty awesome. So uh, I always love starting the day with some unboxing, no matter what it is. Today it's Troll. Oh, and by the way, I think we have an unboxing tomorrow too with some animals that I am super excited to be getting. Something I worked with years ago and I couldn't wait to get back into them. So I'm super excited, that, but that's tomorrow. So in the meantime, let's go ahead, jump into the rest of the day and feed Lucy. Ready to get in with Lucy and see if she's gonna eat? Come on, girl. She just shed out. So my gut feeling is that she's gonna be very hungry, but I'm not 100% sure. She's kind of tucked in a bad spot right now so we got to get her to kind of start to smell first and once she starts smelling up oh, there she is here she comes come on girl come on nice big rabbit for you let's go whoa come on what what rabbit uh oh maybe she's not hungry today you're gonna try to eat whoa maybe she left it oh there she goes she took it now I don't think she really re realized it was a rabbit at first. It's a pretty big meal, so I don't know if she was a little intimidated. I've noticed every now and then that even big snakes, when you give them a really large rabbit like this, which is about as big of a rabbit as I've ever given her, they'll actually get a little bit kind of intimidated by the size of the rabbit. So uh, thankfully she took it. Looks really good right now. This is going to be a huge meal. A friend of mine actually dropped off a couple frozen Flemish giants that are absolutely huge. They're like 12 plus pounds. So this is a huge meal for Lucy. So let's just go ahead and let her go. This is going to be pretty awesome. Pretty cool guys, Snap and Pop over here actually have been in shed, and for the first time since they've been in this enclosure, one of them actually shed out, it's actually Snap. And Snap is actually right over here. Pop is still deep in shed over here. Ooh, what are you gonna do, girl? Are you gonna bite? What are you gonna do? Whoa, relax. Come on, little wonky, come on. The little thing was a little bit aggressive on me for a second there. I'm not sure what she was doing. And of course, Snap is the girl here, and she looks absolutely gorgeous since she shed. Look at that animal. It's pretty cool. Again, Pop is deep in blue right now, so I'm sure it'll be a couple more days, but that is pretty awesome. What a cool snake. And the way they move along these rocks effortlessly is absolutely breathtaking. Remember when I had actually told you guys that um, our, our Goody Sapphire stopped eating, started to web up her enclosure a lot? Well, guess what? She's actually 
freshly molted. So I'm really, really excited to show you guys this. So I even waited, I even pulled, pulled the molt out. So likely it's probably gonna be crispy and stuff. So I'm not gonna be able to really like show you a lot of the uh, the uh, the interior parts of the molt. But, it, but the real important thing, especially with any tarantula that goes through a mole, is to be careful with them. You want to be respectful of their home. I'm going to open up just enough big of a hole to where I can grab that and pull it out. But it is really, really crispy. It's probably been in there for about a day or so. So that's that's part of it. And I'll definitely get the rest out, out of it earlier because the really the important thing with, with pulling molt out of tarantula cages is we don't want a lot of pests to come in and try to eat it or break it down. It could have, it could mess with her too and she's a very vulnerable state at this point. So we give her another week or two, week or two and then we'll actually feed her and everything. But man, I'll, like, I'll, I'll open this up a little bit so you guys get a good look at her. But she is beautiful. You can see that color. Oh my God, look at that color. That beautiful blues and the yellows there that really pop out. And because she's so freshly molted, you can actually even see a little bit of red on the abdomen there too. You actually get a good look at her butt. You see the red colors right there towards the base of her abdomen. Like it's really, really interesting. And and, and, and what a beautiful species too. Like I, like I could not be more, be more fascinated by these guys. They're beautiful, man. Look at my girl Salt, I tell you what, she is just so beautiful. Of course, Pepper is just swimming around here. I love this enclosure, It's uh, it gives me kind of joy every single day. And speaking of joy, you guys have been giving me a lot of joy lately. I really do appreciate all the people that have been booking virtual tours. Uh, you guys are keeping me happy because you know I love showing people animals, I love educating people, and this gives me an opportunity. Maybe we're not in-house, but the virtual tours have been amazing. If you're interested in one, uh, they book pretty quick, so uh, the reptarium.com, we're also doing Doing those shout outs now, those personalized video messages, a minute, two minute long, where you can pick, you know, myself or anyone in the crew. Uh, you can pick an animal, a personalized message to yourself or just some inspiration or someone else, a happy birthday or whatever the case may be. And like I mentioned, I also want you guys to support the crew. So if you do pick a crew member, I'm giving them part of the money and it's cheap, like 12 bucks. So I want to keep it cheap like that so it's not expensive. And again, all these little things just help kind of run the zoo. Now, don't get me wrong, we're going to be fine, guys. I tell you, worry about you, don't worry about me. But uh, but all that support does help us, so we really do appreciate it. Again, the reptarium.com. Well, Butterscotch is actually in shed, so I think we're gonna go ahead and feed Daisy here. Come on, little girl. Come on, come on, come on. You ready? Come on, girl. You want? Come on, baby. Here you go. Here you go. Whoa, there she is. She's got it. There she goes. She's beautiful. There you go, little girl. She just barely has it, but she's gonna eat it. So uh, she's pretty amazing. What a good snake. And again, she just shed out, so she was ready to eat anyways. I was actually gonna thaw food for everything tomorrow, but uh, she'll get a little snack today, nevertheless. My girl Daisy just finished up. Not a really big meal right now. In actuality, what it is, I have to get a whole new shipment of rabbits. Uh, things have slowed down a little bit, obviously, with shipping and everything else. Not like frozen rabbits are a high priority for most people, but I do need to get them because I'm down to my last couple rabbits in the freezer. So hopefully in the next week or so, I can stock up and get all of our snakes fed big time. So, uh, But nevertheless, Daisy has a nice meal in her and she looks absolutely wonderful. You did good, girl. You look amazing. Gosh. What? Jason, sneak up on her. I bet you she's playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm on a break. I'm You're fishing. on a break? It looks like Phoebe's on a break too. Phoebe's always on a break. Lori, I'm working my butt off here. And, and just... so am I. I literally so just sat down oh, and yeah. started fishing. Let me see your, your minutes. How many minutes have you been on there? Can you see it? 
Three hours and 11 minutes? No, it's 311. Okay. <laughs> right. Get back to work. Okay. Him. Tell him, Phoebe. Go. Phoebe, your mama's being silly. Your mama's being silly. Okay, well, uh, uh, yeah. I, I tell you what, guys. I'm an Animal Crossing widower right now because uh, uh, all she does is play Animal Crossing all day. Well, I work. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I've been running around the Reptarium all day taking care of all the different animals, but I actually have a special project. We are fixturing out this enclosure for the new baby furlies, and then we already have their older siblings here. They are super adorable. I can't wait to get the new ones in there and see how they do over here. So we're gonna go ahead, grab some bedding, and fixture this guy out. So they're all set up in here. We got a bunch of sticks, some plants, a bunch of stuff for them to climb on. I'm sure they're gonna do great over here, but I'm really excited to see them grow up. Okay, uh, some more unboxing. Again, just catching up on stuff. Some of this stuff was sent to us a while ago, and it wasn't that we don't appreciate it. It's just we wanted to open them up on the vlog, and uh, we've just been so busy, obviously, with the Reptarium and everything else going on. So this one is actually from the Trouts from Virginia. All right, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess it's a book. Oh, it is a book. Let's see, what, uh, let's see. Oh, it's a oh. sloth book. <laughs> Oh my All gosh. Right, so not really a book. <laughs> a a notepad. Book. Is it a notepad? It is a book. It's, oh a, chi it's a child's flip book. Perfect. This is, this is exactly, <laughs> this is my level of reading right here. Uh, so this is good. We uh, saw this book, thought you would enjoy flipping through the pages while sitting at your desk. I'm Jeez. all all about efficiency. Not lazy, uh, just gradual. Uh, I thank love it. You. Later thank is you. a wonderful word. <laughs> I love it. I'm definitely going to read that. Yeah, thank that'll you. That'll be perfect on that's, the desk. That is perfect. That's that, I'm telling you, that's the level of reading that I enjoy. <laughs> I really do. This is actually from, uh, let's see. See the UPS store doesn't say who it's from, and uh, oh my gosh, what's this? Is it underwear? No, I don't know. <laughs> clean the glass, maybe instead of using paper maybe towels. It, yeah, maybe it's a glass cleaner. Oh yeah, it does look like oh, that. Oh my so, gosh, there's a bunch of them. They're the static oh, ones. Oh, Norwax. Okay, oh. so. <laughs> In the Reptarium. Yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's cool. Uh, that looks cool too. My by name the way. is Myra. I'm 10 years old. Love the vlog oh so gosh. much. Saw that you use paper towels on the glass to help with that. My family got you something. Thank yeah, you. This is great. Perfect reusable yeah, and it's great. for the glass because we have a lot. Of and it's a great timing because we uh, we're trying to conserve on paper towel. Got one more box here. Uh, don't cut towards me. Oh, speaking of paper towel, and this is actually from uh, the from New. This is Roder Schmurr. <laughs> what? what is Roder Schimer. Roder Schimer. This is from Roder Schimer. This is from North Carolina. And oh my gosh, you guys are great. Speaking oh my gosh. Reusable. Here's some letters. Oh my god, letter from the okay. Roder Schimer family. I'm so sorry that I messed you up. Oh, my husband choice. watches your vlog every day, actually has Perfect. me hooked as well. Thank you so much. Because of you, our family recently become a ball python, Baba, in our home. And this is a picture of Baba right here. My husband has awesome. also uh, wanted a snake for a while before we met and fell in hard times and was homeless for a while. Uh, he had to give away two boas, wanted to uh, get snakes again, so you guys got it. We have learned so much from you and are thankful and wanted to send some supplies. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Uh, I appreciate you guys. And then they tell us a little bit about Bubba, so it sounds like he's a great animal. Super and nice. literally, and guys, needed. this is much thing. This is like I tell you what. If I was walking down the road and I saw a pile of cash, or I saw a pile of paper, I would pick this. So thank you. And look, I mean, oh my God, you guys are amazing. Yeah, Seriously, so thank nice. you so much. I mean, this is so, thank you for everyone that has done so much for us. So we appreciate um, it. We, we're, we're so blessed to have you. Seriously, thank you guys so much. <laughs> and like I mentioned earlier, I actually have an unboxing video tomorrow that I am super excited about. Cannot wait to share it. So I hope that you will enjoy it. And if uh, you want some more of my stuff over here, you can run through an unboxing playlist right over here. You can subscribe to my podcast right up here. If you don't mind, it's called Checking In. You can also subscribe to this channel if you're liking the content. Turn your post notifications on if you don't mind. 
Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.